Alright, so here we have two recent releases by Brother Hobby. These ones are the 2207-1750KV Returner R6 and the Returner R6 2306-1660KV. These have been around for a couple of months already. Uh, Brother Hobby sent them to me quite a while back. I just haven't had a chance to test them, so I gotta apologize for that. And as usual, uh, Brother Hobby just packages these in these uh, cardboard boxes, nothing fancy. Uh, no need for that anyways. Uh, these get thrown away. So, no issues with that. And usually the motor just come in in the boxes like that and pretty minimal stuff. Just a, a few M3 screws and a lock nut. Uh, that's how they both come. So this is the 2306 and this is the 2207. So something particular about these motors is the color scheme. As you can see is iridescent. Uh, so kind of fancy color scheme. I kind of like it. It's different. Probably can't see it too well on the screen due to the uh, artificial lighting. It's got all these different colors depending on how the light hits it. It goes anywhere from yellow to bluish, greenish hue to purple. So pretty cool. And these have the usual design pattern, five spoke on the bell cap as you can see. Pretty similar to the other returner motors. So that's pretty standard. Also standard is all the bells and whistles that Brother Javi puts into their motors. Basically titanium shaft, one piece shaft, hollow, and the naked bottom and 7075 aluminum bell cap and base. And 52 arc magnets, single strand wire on the windings, and the 0.15 uh, laminations on the stator. Uh, also, this time they went to a larger bearing. Now they're using the um, 4x9x4 Japanese NMB bearing, so that's good, uh, more durable. So you can see the bolt pattern here on the base is 16x19, so that's kind of different. Most uh, motors are 16x16 16 16 these days, but that's all right. Uh, the retaining screw for the shaft uh, still is 1.5, I believe. It's yeah, 1.5 millimeter. And uh, uh, though they're using a pretty sturdy screw, it's got a deep socket there on the head. So that shouldn't be too difficult to remove, I think, because I can feel the Allen key going in quite a lot. So it should be easy to remove. Uh, so let's give it a go here. Yeah, I can feel it turning and it's not slipping. So that's good, uh, good screw to use. And uh, they're claiming 32 grams of weight on the 2306 with 160 millimeters of wire, though these are about 155. So let's see what it weighs. And this is the 2306. So let's see. And that's 31.7, so uh, 31.9, so pretty good. Uh, that's basically what they're claiming. And the 2207, I imagine, is going to be a little bit heavier because the stator is larger, has more mass to it. So let's see what this weighs. 2207 is 32.8, so a gram heavier. Uh, that's expected. If we leave the wires at 50 millimeters, I usually get the equivalent because sometimes a lot of the motors have different uh, lengths of wire, so we have to remove that much wire. So we'll tear that, that's about 2.2 grams. Wire is actually pretty heavy as you can see. 2.2 grams uh, on that wire. Uh, 2.3 grams actually. And so the 2306 would be 29.6 with 50 millimeters of wire. Uh, that's if you use uh, arm mounted ESCs, which not that many people use these days. But you know, I always get the equivalent with 50 millimeters of wire, just to have a, uh, just to have all the motors with the same length of wire. And uh, let's see, the 2207 is 30.5, so pretty good weights on these motors. Quite light actually for this size. So as usual, Brother Hobby always uh, tries to make uh, uh, light motors. So these are no exception. So, okay, let's uh, take this belt out and let, we'll have a 
a closer look under the magnifying glass. Uh, yeah, the uh, shaft retaining screw comes out pretty easily. And yeah, they they used uh, just a little bit of uh, uh, thread lock, so that's good. That's why it's not so difficult to uh, to remove. And yeah, there's a bronze washer. And let's see how easy it is to pull this apart. Uh, yeah, not too difficult. Comes right out. So let's get this on the magnifying glass. Uh, so here's the belt for the 2306 and there's the one piece uh, shaft, titanium, arc magnets as you can see there and uh, uh, pretty neat, not a lot of uh, balancing mud right there so pretty well balanced out from, uh, right from the, um, from the machining and here's the stator, uh, pretty usual for Brother Hobby uh, very neat windings as you can see there and there's the nice uh, large bearing 4x9x4 by by and MB bearings and very uh, thin laminations so let's see what the actual height of the stator is uh, should be 6 millimeters nominal uh, that's about right right there a little bit uh, just a tiny hair taller than six millimeters, so uh, pretty much six millimeters, I think. Okay, and there's the uh, 2207 taken apart, a taller stator and magnets, and here is the stator. So let's get a quick check on the stator height. Uh, so there it is, yeah, pretty much uh, 7 millimeters, just a tiny bit over 7, so 7 for practical purposes. So no surprises there. Uh, same bearing, uh, 4 by 9 by 4 NMB bearing, Japanese, so that's good. And overall pretty neat uh, windings, uh, pretty nice construction on the motor as usual from Brother Hobby. Alright, uh, so let's put this back together and let's get some numbers on the thrust stand and uh, gotta remember to not let the stator slam so you gotta kind of ease it on which is kind of hard because those magnets are pretty strong so you really have to uh, hold, hold on to it pretty well And there we go. Uh, on rare occasions, you can damage the magnets, I guess. Uh, so why not? You know, just be careful when you when you put them back together. Uh, uh, put them as slowly as possible. And let's have a look at the air gap on this motor. So as you can see, that's the 2306, fairly tight. And that's the 2307. I don't know if you guys can. Uh, see the air gap there but it's also uh, pretty tight so uh, not overly tight and not that loose so just just right I think so All right so we'll put back this uh, retaining screws and uh, get some numbers on the thrust then
All right, so let's have a quick look at the thrust test results for the Brother Hobby R6 2306 1660 kV. This one measured at uh, slightly lower 1600 kV. It's measured by my thrust stand. So I went ahead and tested 3S on the larger props and 6S on the smaller uh, five inch props. Fairly low KV for this size motor and these props. As you can see the results, the thrust is a little bit low on power. Uh, under 1500 for sure right here with the five inch uh, tri-blades nowadays we're used to seeing above 1500 for 6s with the 1700 1750 kv motors uh, but this one as you can see is lower than that but also the amps uh, that the motor is using are quite low uh, so this one's going to be quite gentle on the batteries as you can see it's not even uh, breaking 30 amps and uh, keep in mind these are burst amps so this is like maximum burst on static so in flight this is going to be probably around 35 percent lower so we're talking basically just around 18 to 20 amps maximum and that's going to be burst too for just a few seconds so this one should give longer flights i think for the same size battery as you would use on a more powerful motor but then of course you know you're going to have uh, less power available so it uh, should be perfect for a very lightweight uh, build. You can perhaps use a smaller battery pack, maybe an 1000 or 1100 milliamp hour battery pack 6S. And you know, that, that would give you a little bit more advantage uh, as far as weight is concerned. So then on the five and a half inch prop, uh, that's where it breaks the 1500 gram mark and also the 30 amp marks. Then we go to the six inch props, 1600 here for the 6045 and 6040, 1637. And for the seven inch props on 5S, 1500 at 37.5 and uh, 1508 at 34 amps basically for the HQ7045 so uh, very manageable uh, levels here for 7 inch prop so this could be a good option for 7 inch props for a mild setup I don't know if anybody is using 2306 size motors for 7 inch props uh, one thing is to test it here on the thrust stand and another one is to actually fly it and see how it feels it, it might not feel responsive or it might feel very laggy you know so that's something to keep in mind overall as you can see a little bit low on power but also quite uh, uh, gentle it's going to be very gentle on the batteries it's using very low amps here uh, so, well, that's another option for 6S uh, for the size 2306 motor. Uh, so hope you find the data useful. Thank you for watching. Until the next one.